on in. We'll take a look in here. Okay, Here's what $3 million buys yeah, in Vancouver. A year ago, the price of a home like this was closer to $2 million. And, uh, Vancouver real estate has never been more in demand, more costly. Investors are coming from around the world, especially China, to buy and sell houses like this. Most people who come here, they come here for lifestyle. If you, you know, a lot of people say it's a little bit hard to make money here, but I think people who have money would like to be here. Ten years ago, 19% of homes in Vancouver cost a million dollars or more. They're marked in red on this map. Jump ahead to today, around 90% of the city's houses are over a million, some much, much higher. Researcher and planner Andy Yan says foreign investors, many from China, have helped drive up local prices to unaffordable levels. Part of this is also talking about the globalization of local real estate, of how local real estate markets are really entering a global marketplace that local incomes no longer can really define really how much the value of those homes are. Even with a joint income well above average for the city, Evan and Laura can't afford to live in Vancouver anymore. They've been renting for six years and have watched helplessly as soaring prices push home ownership further out of reach. It's time, they say, to think about leaving. It's kind of dawned on us over the last year or so, and many of our other friends as well, that this is not a city where you can have much of a future in if you want to start a family and, and do all the things you saw your parents doing at this age. Buying and selling real estate is so important to the local economy here, it's larger than mining, manufacturing and forestry put together, and some say it's way too important. Governments at several levels in Canada are trying to cool the market by reducing the influence of foreign money. Overseas buyers now face extra taxes, and that slowed things down a little. But some say that property sales have been allowed to become such a crucial economic activity that trying to rein them in might cause real damage. The concern is obviously that so much is linked to real estate and development. And right now, all the focus is on a house, buying and selling houses. It's not an economically productive activity, and it certainly can't continue the way it is. With its beautiful setting between the coastal mountain range and the Pacific Ocean, this is a city that has long attracted new residents. What's in doubt is whether those who now call it home can afford to do so in future. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, Vancouver.